Hola. Today, I have a big one for you. So come over, sit down. And this is a big one for uh, organization of your scene, especially for muscle memory, for keeping things tidy and for speed of workflow. That's, that's the focus to make it things fast. So in um, the, the, this video has a few of shortcuts and a few of new things that are appearing in Blender 2.8. So shortcuts, it's something that it was in Blender 2.7. Uh, so if you remember Blender 2.7 uh, for changing layers is you will quickly do one, two, three, four, and you will quickly switch between these little squares up here. So it's for changing the layers. And then you will do Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3 to change the bottom row of those layers. In Blender 2.8, there is no such thing as layers. There is collections. So now if you um, press 1, it goes to the first collection. 2, it goes to the second collection of the top level. 3, 4, the same. And then uh, after that, it will start going in one level deeper. So it will do first the top level, then the second level. So in this case, five is set lights, which is within sets, six geometry, and then you can continue going. So it works in a similar way. You can also, um, if you are in a new file, if you have more than 10, it will work in the same way. So if I have, for example, of this, I can do one, two, three, four, all the way, seven, eight, nine, zero for number 10, and then Alt, one, two, three, four, and the rest for the remaining numbers. So uh, of course, this all comes with new stuff. So for example, you can do control click to isolate individual collections, and you can also Alt H to show all of the collections. And yes, Alt H is back and H is back. H is in used in Blender 2.7 for hiding objects. And now, since today, you can also press H and hide individual objects in Blender because the per object visibility is brought back. And it's back with better. <laughs> it's back and better, not only just back. Because in Blender 2.7, uh, you only had the um, visibility per um, in the viewport and for rendering. So it meant that if you were just working very quickly and just prepared a few and want to hide an object and then continue working, just for the viewport, just for working uh, briefly or just to have things uh, more organized, it meant that if this object was linked, then the visibility will come with it. So you will, yeah, if you were working with a team or something and someone hides something in a different blend file, then it will ruin your workflow. So now those things are separate. If you don't want something to be seen in the viewport, like for good, like something that it shouldn't be seen in the viewport, maybe just a helper for you, then you can do it so with this icon for the time being. We, are, we, need, we need new icons for this, but basically it will allow you to hide the objects from the viewport, but like for good, this is when the when you link this collection to another blend file, it will come with this change. And it leaves us for the eye to only change the visibility for now, for like wh while you're working. This also, um, it, I think it's an improvement over what we had because now it means that you can finally change visibility and just work on your own scene, hide and hide things. Um, shortcuts such as, for example, the uh, shift H to hide everything except whatever it was selected is also brought back, Alt H to unhide. And then you can also do Control H, which is uh, similar to the squares in the, in the viewport before. It shows where which collections have objects if you have a collection that doesn't have an object, like in this case, let's, I made it three collections here. And if I do control H, it will show me that these collections doesn't have, don't have object. And the active object is in the collection number one instead. So it's similar. You can do one, two, three, four, five to go through the collections or control H and then do one, two, three, four, five, like you would just do um, 
usually in any of these kind of drop downs. So yes, it's a, a lot of functionality is been brought back. I, H for hiding, Alt H for unhiding, and uh, Control H for doing it per collection. And as I said, this works when linked. So you can finally set the visibility when something you want to be always invisible when linked, but maybe you want to have it visible on your viewport. So huge improvement. So big props to uh, all the developers, especially Brecht has been working on it recently. And uh, yeah, 2.8 is getting more feature complete finally. And huge props for uh, better scene organization. I will see you again in the next video. I hope you liked it and, and can go get the development fund and get, get excited because it's the last week of the code. No, it's not the last week. Next week is the last week of the code quest. There's so many things happening here at the Blender Institute. In another room, as I'm making this video, there is Jack Luke, the creator of Animation Notes, is having a meeting together with, uh, with Sergey and Brecht about the future of the particle system in Blender and Animation Notes in 2.8. So, mind-blowing things going on, just planning and design. But yes, expect awesomeness. I will see you again in the next video. Ciao.